gypsy soul Yeah, that's how she rocks and that's how she rolls She's a backwards hat. Hey, boys, what's up? Strawberry lips sip from a Dixie cup. A quicksilver tan line rocking shotgun in the truck. A charm with the peace sign around her neck for a little love. My baby's a hands in the air. Don't have a care when her song's on the radio. A little crazy with a blue jean tear. Gets a ray band stare just about everywhere we go. Does she like to get down sipping on coke and crown? and gypsy soul Yeah, that's how she rocks and that's how she rolls Yeah, that's how she rolls Her baby's a hands in the air She don't ever care when her song's on the radio A little crazy with a blue Gypsy soul Yeah, that's how she rocks And that's how she rolls Yeah, that's how she rolls Yeah, that's how she rolls Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash off the beaten path. And follow us on Twitter at OTBP Podcast. Off the beaten path podcast with Ben Merritt. And today I'm joined by a, a very true up and coming, did it all by his own, pulling bootstraps. Tyler Barham, how are you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Now, I did I give you enough accolades? Because honestly, you've been doing this thing for a while now, and you've literally been pulling your own bootstraps, you know, kicking the dirt, kicking doors, knocking on doors, all that stuff, all on your own. Yeah, it's it's been crazy, but it's been it's been awesome though. It's been cr- quite a ride already. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Tyler, before we get too in depth into the the really important questions, I want to loosen everybody up. Everybody always gets these two questions from me. Are you ready? All right. Question number one, where are you right now? I am in Montana right now. All righty. Uh, yep, yep. D- at home? Because I know you're a Montana yeah. boy. Yeah, I, well, I was, in, I was in Nashville yesterday and then just flew home. Uh, just flew home. So it's back in Montana for, for like a month and then moved down to Nashville to do it full time. You're going to move to Nashville in a month? Yeah. Wow. That's a big step. It is. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people say that, you know, when you make the move to Nashville, that's when it really gets started. Yep. I'm, I'm excited for you, man. And are, you, are you ready for question number two? Yeah. Besides talking to me right now, what else are you doing? Uh, just sitting here with my dog, Ellie, at my mom's house. Yeah. She's just hanging out. Yeah. Trying to bark, and I'm like, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, don't, 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 don't mess with me. Ben Mary wants to yeah. talk. <laughs> Trust yeah, me. a fierce, fierce little dog. She thinks she's super tough. But. What kind of dog is it? Uh, it's a, it's a. Let's see, Schnauzer mixed with a Chihuahua. Ooh, jeez, a crazy mix. But those, those are two of the dogs that have like the most notorious Napoleon complexes too. Yep. You put them up next to a Great Dane, they're going to take over. Yep. <laughs> the Great Dane's like, what are you doing? I, anyway, all right. Well, Tyler, now that we've broken the ice, uh, again, we're going to get back to the self-made man kind of thing because you, sir, have been doing it all on your own, uh, and you started by, well, we'll get to the massive amount of views that you have on YouTube, but you started by posting some videos on YouTube of uh, some covers of current songs, haven't you? Yeah, it, I mean, it, I, it started back in 2007, that's when I got on YouTube, and it was just like, it was a really lucky time for me, um, but I didn't, I mean, I didn't really plan to for it to uh take off like it did it just kind of it just kind of did um but i you know i just i just enjoyed singing and had a passion for it and um wanted to to do like covers of some of my 
you know, favorite country songs of some of my favorite artists on YouTube and just see what people thought and get some feedback. And um, I did a couple videos and then I got more subscribers and more requests. And so I just continued to put up videos. But I mean, it, it wasn't, it wasn't really anything special. It was just be, me being, you know, me being a goofball in front of my computer singing. And, <laughs> and there's a lot of crazy videos. It's so hard for me to go back and watch those ones but, because I'm my <laughs> biggest critic. But uh, so, I mean, something must have caught, caught on and, and maybe, you know, they, they weren't anything crazy, so people were able to, like, relate to them. And, and uh, it just turned into this, this super loyal fan base that has, that has been with me from the start. So. And honestly, you know what? I think what it is is you being goofy on the air, but you have talent. Sir, you've got one of the most mature voices that I've ever heard. Um, and having that goofiness... Being real right off the bat, you know, nobody kind of, nobody was like, oh, well, this guy's in it to make money. No, they noticed that you were in it for fun. You were just enjoying yourself. And I think that's probably what did it. At least I know that's what did it for me with you. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that's, and that's an amazing thing. Like I'm, I'm so thankful that, that people were able to, you know, just, just enjoy the video for, for what it was. I mean, and, and it's cool because, you know, nowadays a lot of artists are using, YouTube as, as like a great tool to, to build a fan base and stuff, but it just kind of, you know, it just kind of happened unexpectedly because I, I wasn't like, you know, I, I didn't expect to, uh, for it to grow like that. So, yeah. And I, I've got a tough, uh, here's the toughest question that'll probably come up this entire interview. Oh boy. Do you remember I'm what, for it. do you remember what the first song was that you covered? Oh man. Uh, <laughs> Cuz I honestly don't know. I haven't been able to make it to the bottom of the load more list yet. That is tough. I I I almost want to say it's uh Joe Nichols the Impossible I think, but I I don't know. Uh, uh-huh. the most, I mean the most popular one that was like from the very beginning was Tim McGraw's Just to See You Smile and that's like that's like one of my most viewed to date. I think it's got like 240,000 views or something, but I do remember that was uh, one of the first ones that I did. So, I, I will tell you right now, I've been scrolling the entire time you were answering that, and I'm still not at the bottom <laughs> to try and find it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of pages. I'm like, oh, boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm at about five years back now. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, let's see, Forever and Ever, Amen, uh, My Wish. Uh, again, like I said, I'm, I'm scrolling. No, so anyway, that's kind of awesome. I'm, I'm kind of glad that, you know, you're, you're taking advantage of the social media. And, boy, are you taking advantage of it. You have got yourself one heck of a views number, 8.17 million views at this time. That is a ridiculous amount of views for a young up-and-starting co- uh, artist like yourself. Yeah, no, it's and and that's that's for all my videos, and it's it's crazy to think that 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 many people have like watched watched my videos. It's and and from all over too. I mean, the great thing about YouTube is it's not only you know just in the United States, but it's in different countries. Like I've I've gained fans from like the UK and Germany and Australia and stuff. And it's I mean I've never been to those places, and it's just crazy that you know my music reaches out just, that far from YouTube. I mean, just by doing covers, so it's. It's an amazing thing. Well, it's not just your covers. I mean, you've got your original stuff up there as well, too, and those are darn impressive, too, sir. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was it was a crazy transition. I mean, and and that's the cool. That's the amazing thing to me is like when I first started doing covers on YouTube, I didn't really have a plan, and then, you know, from YouTube being like the main foundation, uh, it went to you know we made the transition to original songs. But like I, when I was doing covers, you know years ago like i i never thought to myself hey you know maybe someday i'll have original songs of my own you know and uh and now having original songs of my own and and some of the people you know wanting to cover my songs like i was wanting to co- cover other artists songs it's like it's totally come full circle and it's it's a, it's a humbling feeling for sure i think that's one of the biggest compliments that you can receive is when somebody wants to cover your tune i think you know a lot of artists in in Nashville, I'm sure, have taken notice of your work on YouTube and your work with their uh, their songs, and are appreciative of the way that you covered them. Yeah, no, it's and it's and I've, there's been a few artists I know. Like I did a cover of Blake Shelton "Honey Bee" I think last year, and he he like shared that on his Facebook page. And I I recently did a cover of uh, "Don't Show" by Brett Eldridge, and and he like retweeted that on Twitter, and it's it's just really cool because. At first, when you know when people were putting covers on YouTube, the artists were, you know, and labels and stuff were kind of kind of against the idea and wanting to take the videos down and stuff. But then they kind of started to realize that it's, I mean, it's good promotion for yep. 
for their for their song and, and the original artist too, you know. So I think they've kind of like latched onto that, and, and like you said, they appreciate it. So. And just as a comparison, by the way, you said that one of your most viewed videos is a Tim McGraw video. You yeah. have 8.17 million views. Tim McGraw's official YouTube page has 6.95 million views. Wowzer. <laughs> You're blowing away Tim McGraw on YouTube. That's crazy, man. That That is crazy. All right, let's take a listen to one of your original tunes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Dance with the One That Brought You? Yeah, that, uh, that's what the one that brought you. It's 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 cool because I, like I'll admit that I you know I was co-writing a lot of a lot of love songs and and uh, you know which is there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, this this one kind of has a different message of you know um, you you have that person and and you're just you kind of I guess are upset with them sort of and you're just like you know just go and dance with the one that brought you. Like I mean it's it's gonna hurt me, but. But I'd rather have you do that because you came with them, you know, kind of thing. So it's just, it's a, it's a cool song. All right. Well, Tyler, we'll listen to the tune and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more. How about that? Sounds good, man. Look at you. Arms of another guy holding on to him like he saved your life. When you said you need a break, was he the reason why? Look at me walking in with the latest beauty queen, a jerk, cause I'm just using her to make a scene. Anything to spark a little jealousy. My heart can take it, although I feel it breaking. Just don't come cry when your new love falls through. Go on and dance with the one that brought you. Go on and dance with the one that brought you. Remember when you told me that you never really danced before? Terrified, I dragged you out onto the floor Spun you around till you were laughing one more You hear that? Call it perfect timing or irony Just as you finally turned to look at me The band strikes up an old familiar melody Go on and dance with the one that brought you my heart can take it, although I feel it breaking. Just don't come cry when your new love falls through. Go on and dance with the one that brought you. Go on and dance with the one that brought you. That move should be me there holding you. How could you forget the one who loved you first? Go on and dance with the one that brought you. I guess my heart can take it, although I feel it breaking. Just don't come crying when your new love falls through. Go on and dance with the one that brought you. Yes, my heart can take it, although I feel it breaking. Just don't come crying when your new love falls through. Go on and dance with the one that brought you. Go on and dance with the one that brought you. So there you go. That is the first tune that we're going to listen to here from Mr. Tyler Barham. That is Dance with the One That Brought You. And Tyler, man, that, you know, considering that that came off of your first EP, at least in my